From insane private jet parties to hundreds of millions in guaranteed paychecks, Live Golfers had some serious money to blow last year, and they're only going up from there because 2023 Live Golf is even more lucrative. Last year, it was announced that the Saudi backed rival league would invest a total of $255 million into their inaugural season. That news dropped the collective jaws of all golf fans and players all over the world. There was shock, controversy, and some support. You had to be there to watch the chaos unfold. But what nobody knew back then was this was only the beginning. Toward the end of its inaugural season, the Saudi-backed league announced a 63% raise in its pool for the 2023 season. Wait till you hear how crazy the actual sum sounds. 405 million freaking dollars. That's almost half a billion. And Lord knows this kind of money was never known to golf before Liv entered the chat. And the cat fight between the PGA Tour and the Ravel aside, the golfers are the ones actually winning. A bigger pool means even more money for the players, as if they needed a raise. So yeah, thanks to more than double the amount of money this time, the Liv golfers will be buying private jets in their weekly groceries. I'm not even kidding. So the total purse for each event is going to be $25 million. Only 20 million of that total will be for individual events though. The rest of the 5 million will be for team play. Because, of course, teams are an integral selling point for the lucrative league. And folks, this isn't even the fun part. Those 25 million are nothing compared to a huge 50 million total purse set aside for the team championship that this season will end with. Then, of course, there are the 11 international series with a 5 million total pool each. You know it's the money game is on another level when 5 million sounds like nothing. Now, I know what you're thinking. Isn't the money for each event the same as last year? And yeah, you're right, it is. But Liv has expanded. So, the money for each event hasn't changed. There are just more events this year, which means more chances for players to win millions. But these are just the big numbers. Let's see how much the individual players will make. All right then, let's get right into hearing some very unbelievable numbers, shall we? Okay, so out of those 20 million for each individual event, the winner will take home $4 million. Mind you, there are 14 of these events, and there isn't all that much competition. Out of the 48 total golfers, only a handful have the sort of talent it takes to dominate a league. That means only a few players can go on to win multiple events and pocket the paychecks of their dreams, one after another. What's crazy about this live money is that even the last finisher will go home with $120,000. Okay, now for the team events. For the winning teams, $3 million will be up for grabs. So that's $750,000 for each team member. And it's the same thing with the teams. Last year, the aces were winning left and right. So this year too, a single team might win a lot of times and get filthy rich. But those regular team events are just measly little things compared to the team championship. Yep, let's talk about those 50 million. The victorious team will win $16 million. That's $4 million for each team member. But if you're still not impressed, get this. When the season ends, the best players will win some heavy prize money from Liv's bonus pool of $30 million. The first player will win $18 million. The second best will pocket $8 million, and the third will claim a $4 million bag. Let's put it all into perspective. The difference between PGA earnings and live ones was something else. Unsurprisingly, last year the PGA purses were dwarfed in comparison to what Liv had to offer. Like, the tour had only one. Even with a $20 million purse, the player championship. So, no wonder that the Liv defectors made ridiculously more at only 
only one season of Live than they did during their entire careers at PGA. Take Dustin Johnson, for example, the king of Live Golf 2022. He won the 18 million bonus for being the best player throughout the season. Guess how much he made in total? 35 million dollars. Now compare that to his entire career earnings at the tour and prepare for your minds to be blown. During his 16 seasons at the tour, Johnson made a total of 75 million dollars. He's already made half of that sum at just a teeny tiny inaugural season of Live that had only eight events. Also, the money these defectors got on their contract is separate, and the stars like Cam Smith and Johnson got paid no less than $100 million for signing. Phil Mickelson was guaranteed the most, $200 million just for the contract. Okay, back to the prize money. So, we have Pat Perez, who only played seven live events and made $8 million, more than double what he could gather in five years at the tour. Then, there are chill dudes like Peter Uline. This guy never won a PGA event and went ahead and made $12.5 million in Liv's first season. That's half a million more than what the Arnold Palmer Invitational had to offer last year. But now, the PGA Tour has also lost its chill. It's raining dollars everywhere. The Liv defectors made crazy money last year, and they'll make crazier money this year. But the Tour wasn't going to sit and just watch this chaos unfold. The PGA Tour promised it would do everything possible to deal with the Liv threat, and it delivered. The tour has raised the 2023 purses like never before. They introduced the concept of elevated events, which is basically just the same PGA events, but with big money this time. Two elevated events have already taken place. There was the Phoenix Open, followed by the Genesis Invitational, and boy, was the money different. The Phoenix Open offered a total of $8 million in 2022, and this year, the purse was $20 million. As for the Genesis Invitational, it went from offering $12 million last year to $20 million this year. In fact, all of these elevated events, except for one, will have $20 million total up for grabs, with the winner's share being $3.6 million. And that one exception is the Players' Championship, with a $25 million pool, with $4.5 million for the winner. So, yeah, while the Live Defectors will be making $4 million for each event, the PGA members will also be following close behind. And on top of all that, the PGA members will also compete for the PIP prize at the end of the year. The winner of the PIP prize takes home $15 million, and the runner-up gets $12 million. Jesus! Repeating the word million so much has made it lose its meaning. The golfers are eating well. Money surely is in the air. But you know what else is? Hypocrisy. So, like, it was about the money? While the feud between the circuits was still young and players were still defecting rapidly to the Revel League, there was a narrative among the PGA loyalists. According to them, golf wasn't all about money. The real golfers, they thought, would stay on the tour because they'll want to play real golf. Then there were the likes of Tiger Woods, saying the PGA Tour was already paying its members more than enough. Well, 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 how to turn tables. Now it's the tour bringing in the millions to keep their players from jumping ship. Looks like the tour wasn't paying enough after all, and that money really was the only difference that most players cared about. And that's a wrap on Live Golf and the Endless Millions.